Greetings. I know. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jenny, and this is my YouTube channel. I figured I needed to introduce myself because I haven't been here in eons. I've been really busy taking some classes. What kind of classes? Classes that will help me add new services to my menu of services. We, let's see, let's catch up. I'm still reading at night before I go to sleep. Been reading Murder Mysteries. We finished the Dexter series. I was very sad when it was over. I understand that they're going to come out with one final episode and they're going to bring back one of the murderers, the Trinity serial killer. How they're going to do that, I have no idea of because I thought Dexter got rid of him. Maybe he'll be a memory like his uh, dad was. We're still carnivore. Uh, we've had a couple of cheat meals this past week or so because we're celebrating our 29th wedding anniversary. And because we're so busy, going out to eat is our big deal. Anyway, yes, we do regret eating out. We, uh, we went to a place last night called Butcher and Boar. And I think the main ingredient on their menu was MSG. So we both felt hungover when we got home last night from that. Have I been buying any makeup? No, I have not been buying makeup. I've been, matter of fact, for the classes I'm taking, it's preferable to not wear makeup. And so I haven't been wearing much makeup, little to no makeup, and, but I have been using some new skin care. I have a new skin care regime, and I feel like my skin is much more comfortable now. I don't have the dry patches that I had before. I do, however, have a new curling iron burn. Anyway, I should just have the curling iron take. I should just not allow myself to do, use the curling iron on myself. I have, I did say that I haven't been buying makeup. I, I have bought one thing and it's this, it's not very helpful. It's the Milani Pure Passion palette. The reason is, is someone where, it just looks like a Charlotte Tilbury palette, doesn't it? it? It looks like a Charlotte Tilbury palette, but it acts like a drugstore eyeshadow. And I have it on today. It's okay. Um, if you pat and don't try to do too much blending, it doesn't, then the color will stay. If you get too carried away with blending, it just blends away. Like I always say about drugstore eyeshadows. That's my experience. The way that I do makeup, the high-end eyeshadows seem to work better for my technique. So that is my shadows, and that is my big purchase since I last saw you was this Milani palette. Uh, you're probably not interested, but if you are interested in my new skincare routine, you can leave, <clears throat> leave that in the comments and let me know, and I'll try to tell you about it. I'll try to do another video during this break before I have to go back. Um, before I disappear again. Let's see, what else did I want to share with you? I have on my Gypsy Lashes that I really like. Um, let's see if I can find the package. They come in a, a package like this. I don't know what these lashes stuck to it are. 
because I don't think I I don't think I trimmed these. I just put the whole I just put the whole lash on. And they're number nine oh six, and I'm using the dark duo. Yesterday I was using the. And you can let me know in the comments if this is you've had this experience before. So the Kiss eyelash adhesive that comes in a little container with a wand. I've been using that for years and I had a few backups of it. And I pulled a backup out just the other day and I used it. And it's Stick-to-itiveness has low efficacy. So I wonder if, even though it was closed up in a package, it, the seal wasn't broken, it was brand new, except for the fact that I had had it in a drawer for probably a year or maybe more. I wonder if it, it loses glueiness. Anyway... So that's that. My lips today are, I think it's Bite Beauty Lip Liner and I think it's a matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy. And then I have my Note lipstick. It's not this one. This one's pink. This one, and I think it's Nude Beige or it's Creamy. It's Creamy Nude 01. The comments that I've gotten, I appreciate the fact that you have noticed that I haven't been here. That was flattering that you noticed that I was gone. And the question was, are y'all all right? Pat is doing fine. He's driving all over South Carolina doing his job. He's still working seven days a week. Um, with these classes I'm taking, I'm studying... If I'm either ha eating dinner, sleeping, or studying, or in class, and I take about seven minutes before I go to sleep at night to read a novel, and I watch TV while I'm eating my dinner. I have a long drive to where I'm taking my classes. So, on the way, I'm listening to the lectures on, uh, on my phone. So, I'm studying then, too. So, that's why I haven't done any car vlogs. So, I'm completely immersed in these classes. And it'll all be over with in December, I hope. I hope I'll be finished with all the steps that I need to take by then. Um, let's see, what else fun things have? Not walking. Um, I'm still waking up pretty early in the morning, around 4. And I spend the first hour or two studying. And then I get dressed and go to school and then listen to my lectures on the way to school and then I go to school all day and then on the way home I listen to the lectures and then I eat dinner and watch a bit of Dexter but now that we're done with Dexter we're watching the following because it has Kevin Bacon in it and we really enjoyed the TV series City on a Hill that had Kevin Bacon in it. This one is not done as well, but the story is engaging, so we're watching it. And let's 
see. I guess you'll have to put in the comments what what you want to know that I haven't filled you in on in this ketchup. I used a skinny, skinny curling iron to do this look today. This is, I'm not really a waitress, but OPI. I have to wear my nails really short for the classes that I'm doing now. And so that works out good. Naked, naked short nails is the, is the dealio, but the first priority that is that they be short and color is okay. Let's see what else. No jewelry on my hands or my wrists. So that simplifies. It's making my life really simple taking these classes. Except for the continuous studying. I haven't begun studying for the next group of classes yet because the uh, syllabus isn't up on the computer yet. When the syllabus gets up, I start studying immediately before before the classes even start so that it'll all be when the lecture happens the information is familiar enough that what she's saying doesn't sound like blah 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 blah. I think yeah I, I remember reading that yeah yeah that makes sense. So Anyway, yeah, I know, I'm obsessive about everything that I do. Oh, my foundation, I've been wearing, let's see, I had a que question in my comments when I was wearing the, the Kat Von D Good Apple, and it was Sylvia, and she lives in Las Vegas, and she wanted, she said she had, I think she said she had dry skin, but she lived in a really hot climate. Did I think it would melt off? And the, when I read the message or the comment, I was sitting in my car on break at school. And on that particular day, and on that particular day, I was able to wear makeup. And, um, I flipped my mirror down and looked at it and it was breaking up. It was a hot, humid day. And so I answered her, it will probably break up. Anyway, I haven't tried wearing the, the good apples since I got my skin balanced out. These new products I'm using have really made a difference. I don't have, I don't know, I'm still a little dry on the sides of my face, but I had, I was pretty uncomfortable with the level of dehydration, surface dehydration I was, I was experiencing. And I had a little bit of, um, irritation right here down the center of my neck. And I think I got it figured out based on what I've learned that some of the products that you use on your face for anti-aging are too harsh for the skin on your neck and your decollete because that skin is more delicate. So, I'm not taking harsh treatments, i.e. Uh, alpha hydroxy acids down past my jaw. So now my waddle, my waddle isn't itchy and dry anymore. And my under here, I isn't really uncomfortable and burning anymore. Anyway, I just thought I would check up because I promised y'all I'd be back in July. Um, be sure and comment if you, there's anything that you want me to go into greater detail about and I'll try to come back and post another video before I fully immerse myself back into my classes again. 
Y'all have a great day. It's been really long time and I appreciate the fact that you, some of you have dropped me a note to let me know you miss me. See you soon. Ta-ta.